Okay, I'm out at Oak Park Garden Center. Diane Giddens is, is with me today and we're talking about container gardens. And I love this. This to me is the way to turn your deck or your porch into something spectacular. But there's a there's a art to it. There's a key to it that makes, you know, just me and my little plant in a pot to <laughs> something that's gorgeous. So yes. walk us through putting together a beautiful container of plants. Okay, you know, you want to decide just like in a garden, how much sun you're getting. That'll be your first thing. Okay, and then you have to decide what you want to accomplish. I want a show-stopping, gorgeous okay. thing every okay. time. All I right. want a flashy. Uh, <laughs> you know me, right? Yeah. No, I do. I, you know, when you put it in a, in a plant in a container, you want it to be something that, oh, isn't that looks so mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so you can do a combination. Okay. Okay, that's kind of the artistic thing. Right. Um, and a good rule of thumb is three types of plants. Three Rule of three, okay. just like other design, yes. rule yes. of three is the issue with your container garden. Yes, okay. so we want what they call thrillers, fillers, and spillers. I love okay? it. Thrillers, fillers, and spillers. So and he, your container will be killer. Yeah. No, that's not one of the Ellers, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> oh, that's the fourth Ellers. <laughs> right, <Yeah>. right. <laughs> so you've got, these are the... These are the thrillers. Thrillers, okay. okay. These are the tall plants. Um, these go either in the center of your container or toward the back of the container. Because they're going to be the tall ones that sort of the, sprout out of yes. it. Yes. Okay. Um, and... Uh, like we've talked about before, I kind of cram things right. in. Right, it's okay to stuff it a little bit. It is, okay. just, you know, it's going to use up more water, so you're okay. going to have to water it a little more Keep often, on but it. that would be it. Okay. Um, so these are petunias, super petunias, but there's a million different kinds of petunias. So moving from all of those gorgeous fillers, we got to get to the spillers. Spillers, and yes. And what do you mean by spillers? Spillers will come over the rim of the pot. Okay. So take, for example, this lovely lime green, or this will become a spiller as well. So we put those around in the very front, that's the lowest level, and that will grow and cascade and, you know, like between the blue pot and this, that gives you a really good contrast. And I would never think of how gorgeous lime green and blue look together, but mm. you're totally right that mm. it's just so gorgeous yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. So how do we know if they are spillers? Well, is there a class of plant or will they be viney? Will it say, you know, what am I looking for on the label for the spiller? You'll, they'll be viney, they'll, they'll be, be viney. ground cover type, mm -hmm. and most of the plants will be, will be obviously. Right, right, it's almost spiller. already started that They're way. a little young now, so they haven't done all their spilling yet, but <laughs> we can. Yeah, you, they'll spill, we know yeah, they'll, yeah, spill. they'll spill. Spill it. All right, so we've got those three levels, and it's okay if we do pack it tight into our container. I think so, as long as you're willing to water it more often. And let me give you a little tip on that. Yeah. Say you work all day and you're not gonna get home to water it during the day, take some ice. This is brilliant, Diane, yes. And put that in underneath the leaves of the plant and that'll slowly water as the ice melts. That'll slowly water your plant That's all day long. That's such a great idea. Yeah. That is the issue and because you're you you know you're running to get to work in the morning and you're always running later, I am, and it's always an evening thing and then they're yeah. kind of feeling bad at the end of the day. So the ice is a great, great tip. When it comes to picking plant, I mean, the planter needs to have drainage too. Do you, when you're doing a larger planter, do you put anything other than the dirt? Do you have a fill at the bottom of it? I recycle styrofoam okay. as my filler. You can put anything. You can put cans, you can put turned upside down pots, you can put milk jugs in there to fill it about halfway because your annuals say. are usually a, a shallower rooted plants. So okay. you don't need all that depth of soil. It makes it lighter too. That's what I wanted to find out is how much do I, it's about a halfway through I can put those things in. And that's yes. also a savings too when you're talking about, you know, buying a bag of dirt or whatever. Yes. I mean, I have to buy it. I don't have any place okay. to get it like here. Yeah. But that's the, a nice way to know that you're not just filling it from bottom to top. And then another tip is, Make sure that there's a little space between that drainage hole uh -huh. and the ground or the patio. 
because if you do use styrofoam and it rains and it rains and it rains and, it, and the water can't drain out of here, that styrofoam is going to start floating up and your whole plant's going to raise up. So, so that is really important too. You'll see they have little stands sometimes or yeah. if you have a deck with slats, as long as that yes. water isn't mm -hmm. smacked Just, up. Like yeah, if you, if you have brick. a concrete porch, be careful. That's mm -hmm. what we're really talking yes. about, right? Yep. We want drainage. That's we want drainage. Okay. Very important. And um, when it comes to uh, kind of planning out our little containers, you also have containers that are already done too, we right? Because do. you know me. Sure. sure. <laughs> I need your yeah. expertise. We have already done containers or, you know, you can even take a hanging basket and pop it in them. Uh, well, that is my trick, actually. Yeah. That is what I do, where I'll see the hanging baskets and be like, well, that is gorgeous, but I don't want to hang yeah. it, and I pop it into the same four or five containers that sure. I have every yeah. year, yeah. and it really makes it And they're beautiful. done. You and know, they're, they're done, right. and they're done, and it makes your deck look just so vibrant. Yes. And I think you really don't have to worry about seasons as much because, like you said, if it's going to be a cold night, bring your little pots back into it's the right. house yeah because it's, it's light coming. now it's light it's gorgeous all right so you've got complete uh supplies for us from pots to the flowers from yes. the thrillers the spillers and yes. the, what's the other one uh, fillers fillers that's right <laughs> all of those are here yeah. at oak park and her expertise and the people that uh work here can help you make sure, sure that you have a gorgeous container garden thank you so much diane okay. all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna go buy some of these blue potters i love them stay with us we'll be right back